So for this video, we're going to talk about imaginary solutions, real solutions, and start to relate them to their graphs and make some connections from a bunch of different topics that we have been working on. So remember that imaginary solutions, another word that you may see is complex. And imaginary solutions is something like 3 plus i or 3 plus or minus i because imaginary solutions always come as conjugate pairs. And imaginary solutions have no x-intercept. Real solutions are x-intercept, like x equals 2, x equals negative 4, something like that. So let's take a look at the example. Which graph represents a quadratic function with complex solutions? So complex solutions, I see that. I should have a chain of events that goes off in my head. So complex is the same thing as imaginary, which means no x-intercepts. So if I'm looking at these four graphs, I have an x-intercept, two x-intercepts, two x-intercepts, and then choice four has no x-intercepts. So that is the quadratic function with complex roots. Number two, given c of m equals m cubed minus 2m squared plus 4m minus 8, the solution of c of m equals zero is. So I see another vocab word. This means root zeros or x-intercept if they're real. This function here is in standard form because it's listed out. There are no parentheses. So when it's in standard form, I find the degree by taking the largest exponent. So my degree here is 3. And remember that the degree tells you the total number of roots, both real and imaginary, put together. So if I'm looking at my answer choices, I know that I have to have three answers. So choice one, this is x equals 2, x equals negative 2. That's what the plus and minus means. That only has two answers. Choice one, only x equals 2. Choice three, x equals 2i, x equals 2. It has to be choice four. This is x equals 2i, negative 2i, and 2. So I have three total answers. So that's how I know my answer is choice four. If I wasn't able to do that and more than one answer choice had three solutions, I would need to either look at my calculator to look for my x-intercepts or use some algebra, factoring, quadratic formula, dividing, things like that to find my zeros algebraically. All right, and then lastly, number three. A fourth degree polynomial has zeros, negative 5, 3, i, and negative i. Which graph could represent the function defined by this polynomial? So once again, I have a vocabulary word, zeros, and we just talked about this in the last question. That means roots, solutions, or x-intercepts if they're real. So if I'm looking at what they gave me, they gave me four roots. But of those four, these two are real. 
x equals negative 5, x equals 3. And these two are imaginary. x equals i, x equals negative i. So these two that are imaginary, positive and negative i, should have no x-intercepts. These two that are real are x-intercepts. So I should see two x-intercepts on my graph. So I'm going to go through each answer choice. This one has four x-intercepts, so it can't be choice one. The next one has two x-intercepts, so that's a possibility. My next one, two x-intercepts, that's a possibility. My last one, four x-intercepts, not a possibility, because only two real roots exist. So let's focus on those real roots. My real roots have to occur at x equals negative 5 and x equals 3. Negative 5 and 3. So my answer has to be choice two because that's not the case in choice three.